Greetings everybody and welcome back to the Bond Geek channel, the home for all you Bond Geeks out there with me your host, the name Stevens, Henry Stevens. Everybody, how do you do? And you know what everybody, I am a massive sucker for film posters. I absolutely love film posters. I love the artwork and the creativity that goes into a film poster. For me, a really great film poster, it's almost ethereal, almost mythological. It turns the film into some utter greatness of potential. It really gives a taste of everything that the film is going to give in just a single image. It's really quite an incredible feat of art, film posters, I think. Some of the best film posters in the world have gone down history as great pieces of art. You're talking about the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom poster. You're talking about the Superman poster. You're talking about maybe the Dark Knight poster. These great posters of history. And that's what I really wanted to talk about in this video today. To me, there are 10 great Bond film posters that really are the standout for me in the whole series and I wanted to rank my top 10 James Bond film posters for you everybody. A couple of things before we start. Number one, if you want a more in-depth look at the film posters and a more sort of professional look at them, I really recommend this YouTube channel called Dark Corners Reviews where he has reviewed every single James Bond poster. It's a great little video to watch on YouTube, I finally recommend it. And the last thing as well as already, before we get into today's topic, I just want to take a quick moment to talk to you all about Brew. For those of you who don't already know, one of the companies I head up the marketing for is Brew, the Gourmet Tea Subscription Club. Brew is an award-winning gourmet tea subscription where our boxes are unique to every individual each month as our subscribers will get a unique box each time based on their own chosen preferences. Along with this, they get a Golden Discover Tea to try and a surprise from us every now and then just to say thank you for being part of the Brew family because we really do care. I'd also like it to be known here, we also have a complete vegan friendly range for our customers to choose from and we've also introduced a whole new range of new incredible things such as a blend your own tea kit and chocolate bundle and mood teas just literally launched right now which is available to you. And I wanted to share with you this and also to tell you everybody I am now part of the Brew Affiliate Program as I have my own YouTube channel. And if you use the link down below to find Brew and decide to order anything from Brew, you will also be supporting this channel because I will receive a 15% commission on anyone who uses that affiliate link down below. So if you want to support my channel and you want to treat yourself and you're a really big fan of tea, why not consider getting Brew the Gourmet Tea Subscription Club? With that being said, let's get back to the video. Right, with that being said, everybody, let's start at number 10. The Bond 50th James Bond poster. Now, to me, this poster was absolutely incredible. I thought this was a lovely, brilliant, wonderful poster to commemorate Bond 50th. What I really liked about it was its simplicity. You've got the black and gold color design with this, with obviously the very famous golden girl appearing in the poster, reminiscent of Goldfinger, which is really, really cool, holding that gun. This poster says so much, in my opinion, about the Bond series, how it's elegant, how it's dangerous, how it has a lot of sort of sex appeal. It's very dramatic. And what I also like about this poster, as you can see on the lady, you've got all the films silhouetted all over her, representing all the films that led up to the 50 years of James Bond right the way from Doctor No to Skyfall and it's just a really really beautiful eye appealing poster to look at this one without a shout out gave me a great thumbs up and a great start to the top 10 list the Honor Majesty's Secret Service poster for me was a really interesting one as well what I loved about it was the contrast of colours I love sometimes these bomb posters that have a white background and then really use pop out brilliant imagery in it to really make some stuff stand out and as you can see if you go to the bottom left hand you've got this amazing sort of snowy avalanche sequence with Bond being chased by villains and Bond getting away with Tracy behind him and even Bond and Tracy they're bursting out of the picture it just explodes with excitement when you see it and if you look at the wording above far up far out far more James Bond is back this poster really is showing the excitement and the potential of Honor Majesty's Secret Service and I think actually knowing the film it really does show off the film actually I think that well. The Spy Who Loved Me poster for me is just one of those very interesting very different Bond posters that again because it's so unique really stands out. It's got such a variety of different colours so perfectly blending into each other. If you look at the top of the picture you've got some real sort of warm colours to represent Egypt but then as you go down into Strongberg's Laparis Tanker you've got the very sort of more dark 
darker, more not so rich colors, but at the same time you've got this sort of mesmerizing blues and greens at the bottom. It's just, it's a really interesting contrast picture that I think really captures the eye, makes you want to go into the story. With that as well, you've got the background again, in comparison to say on a Magic Service that we just did, you've got the gray background, which weird enough allows you to have a bit more color around the sides when it comes to the text logo and the fonts and all the different colors that you can do. It also helps just everything in the middle, just your eyes just so much more focused into that middle picture a lot more. It is, this poster is purely designed for getting you to go into the movie already before you've even paid your tickets to see the movie. <coughs> The Live and Let Die poster, in my opinion, is the one that had it all. It has the danger, it has the action, the romance, the sex appeal, the intrigue, the sophistication, the class. It has a bit of everything for you. This poster is just screaming, if you like something, we've got something here for you. We've got all of it here wrapped up. There's something, there must be just something on this poster that attracts your eye, that makes you intrigued. You've got the voodoo and sharks and crocodiles and boat chasers, car chasers, gorgeous women, a guy with a big gun. you got Bond there standing above everybody, standing with, I'm in control of this. This is the new Bond. You must remember as well, this is the poster that introduced, if you will, Roger Moore as James Bond. And my God, if this poster wasn't sold you on Roger Moore, I don't know what would. <laughs> I want to go really quickly right now here, everybody, to the first James Bond poster for the first Ian Fleming film adaptation, which is, of course, Dr. No. As the poster says, this is the first James Bond film. It's a dramatic difference, really, from everything else that has been so far on this list and actually anything that will come down the line. But what I love about this poster is it just shows off the Bond universe already from the get-go. It gives everything here. You've got Bond standing there looking so confident with a smoking gun, with a gorgeous variety of women just trailing behind him in his wake. You've got the real intrigued look of Jamaica in this film with the colour of yellow and obviously the picture at the bottom with Bond and Honey Rider. You've got Dr. No just at the edge there, just like a bit of a mystery character, but just showing him there. I love the Doctor No poster. I love how it stands out. I love the colors. I love the artistry work and how everything is drawn in this poster. It just, I can't say too many things about this amazing poster. It's just such a wonderful eye visual thing to see. The Moonraker poster is a wonderful example of if you give yourself a black screen and then paint above it, some truly amazing artwork and colors can come about. This poster knows how to use the color black and when to not use the color black. It, you can just see it from the starry night sky in the background to the lovely silvers and stuff that they put on the picture here with the whites also really standing out. You've got Bond standing there at the front looking all confident but right behind him you've got Jaws just about to attack him. You've got Holly Goodhead by his side. You've got the impression of where this film is going to go. It's going to go right into space. It tells you all about the film right here in this amazing picture. When No Time To Die's first poster came out that was honestly a bit of a really down point. It was just like a publicity still where they put No Time To Die and it was awful. But thank God in my opinion the whole collection of Bond posters really saved this film. If you just look at some of these posters, they're absolutely beautiful. One of my absolute favorites is this lovely white background with the 007 logo in the background. And you've got Bond standing behind just looking backwards on his life. And you've got everything in the movie just jumping out of James Bond from the action, the ladies, Q, the big menacing villain right in the middle to grab your attention, the motorcycle and shakers. There's everything that's gonna be in this movie is basically on Bond here, just bursting out of him. And it just looks so interesting and unique. And another one of my favorite ones is the black and white poster they did of Bond and the Aston Martin with Madeleine Swan. Obviously highlighting Bond's blue eyes here, that does play a bit of a part into the movie when you go into it. But I love this use of black and white and a bit of color, reminiscent of Sin City. It just intrigues you, like why is Bond and Madeleine Swan, who is attacking them? Look at all the bullet, wounds going around it's it's such an intriguing poster and there's more other great posters for no time to die i have to say as a collection of posters no time to die i thought did so so well the die another day poster is a poster i hold in very very high regard because i think it was one of the first posters if not the first james bond poster 
that I actually ever owned. I remember getting a free copy out of like a Daily Mail on Saturday weekend newspaper. And to be honest, I really love this poster. I love how it's Bond and Jinx together breaking through the ice with their guns pointed. And in the ice, you see the villains of like Gustav Grains, Amanda Frost and Zhao. You have a bit of action going through the ice. I love the use of the ice color in the red writing for Die Another Day contrasting it to me this poster just looks really action-packed really exciting and it's sort of like we're breaking the ice and going through here for something truly truly amazing you've even got Icarus in the background behind Bond highlighting him it's a very cold feeling poster which is a bit different to maybe what you could say the film was but for me the Die Another Day poster was a definite win and still to this day it's one of my own personal favorites I think because of sentimental reasons. GoldenEye, my very favorite James Bond film, is not actually weird enough my favorite poster, but this is a beautiful poster. It's summed up by the three phrases at the top, no limits, no fears, no substitutes. Again, like Moonraker, it's using the black background as a great base to have everything really pop out from Bond and his two leading ladies to the right hand side, just standing there looking very interesting and mysterious. So if you go on the left, the big sort of action explosion uses a background against the black contrast with the fighter jets and the car that did nothing and Bond running towards us. This is another great poster I think that just draws you into the movie already before you even seeing it and just wanting you to come and experience it and showing you that Bond is up to date now. There's going to be something new. This is a whole new era of Bond and you are invited to come along and see it. And my number one choice is The Living Dirts. And I think still to this day, this is the definitive James Bond poster. I'm surprised that no other real James Bond poster until Skyfall really used the gun barrel as a part of its marketing. But just look how beautiful and how well they've used the gun barrel in here. Again, using the black as a base, you've got Bond right in the middle of his gun barrel coming out to shoot. Meanwhile, you see highlights and just like if you're ethereal mythological versions of this painted version of the film you're going to see from lovely leading ladies to amazing action set sequences the villains you know new eston martins it's all there in the gun barrel the blood dripping down it looks beautiful just highlighted i think by the phrase of this poster this the new james bond living on the edge you can tell you know compared to the roger moore posters this is a very different bond this is a more darker poster a more dangerous poster this poster showed the dark new edgy direction Bond was facing here and also I just think perfectly encapsulating the greatness of that is the James Bond series in just simply one poster. It is without a doubt still to this day my favourite James Bond poster. And everybody that is my list for the top 10 James Bond posters. I want to know everybody what are your thoughts about these posters? Do you like these posters as much as I do? Do you have a complete separate list? I want to know everybody, comment down below and tell me what you think about this everybody. But as always, I am the Bond Geek, I am Henry Stevens, goodbye.